Hi, Cancer. All right, these are just general messages again this week, okay? I will be getting up a little something extra somebody asked me to look at. And, um, but for now, this is all we're going to do. Um, I know we have, like, the Venus Kazemi, I believe, this week. I think it starts today. So relationships are going to be on the line, you know? Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, uh, and Rising. Cancer. We want them to know. Okay, somebody needs to walk away. Somebody needs to walk away. You're in the upright, so I'm going to only assume you need to walk away. There's some sort of injustice here, and there's change that needs to be had. Could be dealing with Scorpio, not necessarily. There's a lot going on in your head right now, Cancer, and I feel like you're at losing focus because you're just being pulled in too many directions. And it has to do with a love connection. You would like to see change in this love connection as well, but <clears throat> we have the Four of Cups. Somebody's being left behind. There's some sort of hope still in this. And it's like, it's like, it's a page. Okay, it's a page. It's Whether it's you or this person, even with this hope, it's just such a small amount of hope. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, so you're still going with some sort of heavy burden for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Air sign in your energy, failure to walk away. There was a third party situation. Somebody wants to let go of this toxic behavior and come back, but I don't know about that. I'm seeing blonde hair. There is no fresh start with this person, okay, at this time, and you are feeling emotionally depleted. Cancer. You're still coming up on the upright, <clears throat> but you are not feeling like you could ever get what you need at this time. It's almost like you're you're um, self-sabotaging, like, oh, nobody's ever going to care about me the way this person did, or I'll never care about somebody the way I, you know, that kind of thing, and it's not really true. It's just like how you're feeling right now. If you are dealing with another water sign, they are they are definitely um, having heavy, heavy feelings right now. <clears throat> if it's an air sign, they know they did wrong. They're just cutting it out because they don't know how to deal with it. Like, whatever they did, even though that they know they're wrong, there is no way to fix it, so they're just cutting it out. Now, these don't have to be romantic, but they are coming out as such, okay? No communication, no closure. Working on your income. Could be starting a new project, even a new project, even if you work for somebody. This is going to put a lot of focus right now. This is going to be, like, something you need to, like, get out of your own head. It looks very positive. Um, okay. You may have had already a trip planned or were planning a trip with somebody and that's not going to happen because you guys are now separated. Finding some sort of stability and actually enjoying being single again. Okay, so you will be like, oh gosh, I forgot what it's like not to have my day ruined. You know, it's pretty, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm seeing lots of flowers, so I feel like it's happening, you know, now in the summertime. Again, working on some sort of new project, it's going to be very positive. Why is the High Priestess in the reverse, though? Okay, the number six is going to be relevant. Six days, six weeks, six months, in the sixth month. Um, I think we are in the sixth month. Anyway, um, it's like... Oh, mess. Um, you, you, you may have some sort of karmic tie with this person, okay? It is not going to be an easy situation for you to get yourself out of, uh, emotionally or otherwise. Yes, you're going to uh, throw yourself into something else, you know, some sort of project, and that's going to help you a lot, and it's going to help you feel better, but you're never going to, not never, but like right now, you're not going to lose those, those late night feelings or, you know, 
hearing the song on the radio and being like, oh shit, you know, that reminds me of so-and-so. Continue. I'm still seeing blonde hair. Continue. What else do you want Cancer to know? Heavy heart. Heavy heart, though, Cancer, here's where it gets kind of positive, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I have quite a bit of cancers in my family, like that kind of thing. My, one of my kids is a cancer. Um, but it's almost like your heaviness, your pain, you use in the most positive way possible, you know, to do whatever it is that you um, uh, are focused on right now. There's no like, you know, drinking till you're on your face. There's no, you know, eating a bunch of crap and regretting it. You're actually doing the right thing. You're dealing with it in a very mature way. Continue. What else do you want Cancer to know? There is somebody here who is Seven of Swords energy. Somebody's betraying you or lying to you, something of that nature. Let's take a look at that. What is that about? Could be a fire sign. For some of you, this could even be like a landlord or somebody that owns a house with you, something of that nature, and they're going to try to, you know, up the rent or get rid of you. For others of you, this is somebody that you, this could be a family member. Tell me more about the situation for cancer. It's definitely a fire sign. I think you're going to... Go mess, come on, let's not start today. I think you're going to take care of this properly. It's not going to be pretty. I think there you're going to go into attack mode, um, and and you're gonna end this well. You know, well for you, not for them. Okay. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. What else do you want them to know? I like it. I like it. There is some sort of reconciliation, though, and I don't know if it's about this. Let's take a look. There's more than one person involved in this argument as well. They may have brought more people into this situation. I feel like this started in the winter time, and it's just like coming to a head now. What is this reconciliation? It's work-related. So, again, wherever you're investing yourself right now, <clears throat> even if it was a past project, you didn't, like, it didn't take off at the time, it will. Um, if this is somebody owes you money, they'll be paying you back. If this is a job opportunity that maybe in the winter time didn't work out and it's going to work out now, um, maybe this is an investment from a long time ago, it's coming back around as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I assure you that it's going to go in your favor financially you'll be contacted about it continue something's gonna break it could be a wheel uh, something something circular like any sort of machine car anything like that something's gonna break be might be careful about that you do have a wish fulfillment here and you have an earth sign in your energy feeling down what is this wish fulfillment here? Ooh. So, Cancer, sort of when things are starting to look up for you, when things are, you know, still heavy but feeling better, you're going to have some people re-enter your life. Okay, now I don't know if it's necessarily this person that caused you issues, it was, it's definitely a situation where somebody feels left out, whether it's you or them, this could have been a past friend, whatever it is, but you're going to have to make the decision. I see you making it actually fairly quickly, um, whether or not to have this person come back, like whether or not you want to deal with them again. Um, I think you wanted to deal with them again, and it doesn't necessarily mean you wanted to reconcile, like you guys have this great relationship again, but you wanted that closure. You wanted that you know, that apology you wanted um, the person to, you know, realize where they went wrong, something, something like that. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. What else do we want Cancer to know? Starting next week, guys, I may start doing these readings a little differently just because um, 
you know, I'm, I'm usually around like 10, 15 minutes when I do these readings and um, I feel like they should last longer. So I may look at one thing at a time and see how that goes and see if everybody likes it, but we'll see. Putting some money away, healing from a broken heart. That financial issue, like I said, has something to do with a wheel has something to do with like mechanics or something, okay? Something you don't see coming, and this is also you in the upright as well. You spending time with a friend or a, or a younger person. Something you don't see coming is some sort of sexual prospect, <laughs> okay? Give me some more here. I'm seeing Neptune, guys, so keep that in mind. That fire sign's watching you. I don't like it. They're not watching you in a very pleasant way. They want to see some sort of downfall. They feel very left behind by you. Ooh. This person's just bad energy, Cancer. Don't like it. I do not like it. Or will be watching you, I should say. Continue. Get, shaking them is going to be so hard, okay? Like, honestly, some of you are going to go into some sort of retreat as well. Um, shaking this person's energy is going to suck. It's going to be really hard, partly because they are still, like, thinking of you or, um, you know, bitter about you or something of that nature. So you may want to do some cord cutting or cleansing or something like that because this person's just kind of lurking in your energy through the whole reading, Three more cards, we're gonna end it here for Cancer. Maybe, maybe considering moving as well, all right, to get some new energy, some fresh energy, especially if you work remotely. Okay, and I think if you're gonna meet somebody or if you're looking to meet somebody, heavy on the earth sign, okay? All right, Cancer, I hope this helps.